Hey folks, this is Sam, and welcome to another Tennis Express Racket Review. We are checking out the Yonex V-Core 95. Denis Shapovalov's racket of choice is back with a few nice tweaks. The isometric head shape remains, and Aerofin technology has been updated and added to the bridge for a more aerodynamic response. At the top of the head, the grommets are embedded in an aero trench, which hides the grommets and further reduces air resistance. NAM graphite has been added for improved flex and fast frame snapback. Liner Tech expands the sweet spot horizontally and keeps the main string straighter, reducing the entry angle of the grommets. The V-Core 95 is 11.4 ounces strong with an RA stiffness rating of 59 and a swing weight of 322. Round that out with a controlled 16 by 20 string pattern and you get the makings of a comfortable performance racket. Let's see what our playtesters thought of the new V-Core 95. The V-Core 95 was a great racket for me. Um, my serve, I could be very precise with my serve and the weight of the racket, a 10.9 racket, uh, was great to push that serve in and bring it down. Um, in terms of uh, returns, whenever a hard serve came to me, it was great to uh, block it and then be able to uh, locate the return wherever I wanted to be. I, I also liked it when I serve and volley. Um, I think the 95 head gives you a lot of control in those volley and be able to also position yourself um, a little bit better to uh, win the point. Um, even though it's a small head, it has a lot of power. The swing weight feels great. Um, it can get balls very deep. It's an easy to manage racket. Just it's easy to bring in in both the forehand and backhand. It can be swing fast or slow, or um, if you're a little bit late, it could be pretty forgiving. I would uh, recommend this racket to intermediate and advanced players. Uh, the 10.9 is not too hard to bring around, and it also pushes you to be a little bit better with your footwork and positioning. So this Yonix V-Core 95 was a really great addition. Uh, this is my favorite out of the line. The Yonix V-Core 95 was a really great racket to hit with. The NAM technology gives us a nice dampened feel compared to the last generation. So the 16 by 20 pattern was very nice. It made the string bed a little bit more dense, but not really dense, so you can still get plenty of power. So the NAM technology does a really good job in dampening the feel. Even though it's the same weight as the last generation, the technology really makes it feel lighter through the air. I recommend this racket for any players that hit with heavy spin and really like to attack the ball from the baseline. My number one thought and takeaway from using the V-Core 95 is the 95 sounds a lot smaller than the racket felt. The sweet spot felt really big with the isometric head shape and I didn't struggle to generate racket head speed. Even when I had off-center hits, the ball felt good. Though it's the heaviest in the new V-Core line, the V-Core 95 is very maneuverable and it's a very comfortable racket from all areas in the court. I really enjoyed the flex on the 95. It's one of the most comfortable rackets that I've tried in 2018 and you can really feel the racket flex nicely on volleys and touch shots. All in all, the 95 is a wonderful, flexible frame. Great for control players. I also enjoyed the 16 by 20 pattern, which isn't as common as it used to be in this mid plus racket. Thanks for checking out our review of the Yonex V-Core tennis rackets. Be sure to watch for these rackets in the hands of Yonex pros as we get closer to the US Open. Special thanks to Westheimer Indoor Tennis and Fitness for allowing us to use their courts. For more information on ordering and shipping dates, check out the info below. Hit the bell below to subscribe and learn when we post new video content.